there was so much sort of living, you know, history there. Unless you're doing stand up on a hill in Gettysburg or some shit, you're not gonna find a better historical venue for comedy than the Purple Onion. You can feel the richness, you can feel the history of this place. How many clubs do you know in San Francisco? I've been around 59 years. I think the best comedy rooms are in basements, dark little dingy kind of rooms, and that's where uh, cool stuff happens, you know? It almost feels like you're gonna be funny through osmosis. There's just so much fucking funny in this building. There's a major opportunity and a major void in terms of paid rooms. Let's create a paid room in San Francisco for the locals so we can start having a little piece of fun for ourselves and making some money and, and having an economy. It goes $1 wonder, $1 wonder. Looking for the $1 deal. Don't you know that one is the magic number? So I run with the $1 bill. I'm not going to depend on the clubs to create work for me. I'm going to go ahead and create work for myself. Why not give an up and coming their first big show at a historical venue? Why not? Yo, I never had a Franklin deal with the dollar bill. Give a break to a lot of young uh, artists that are coming in to give a break what they used to do in the 50. San Francisco's got so much class and culture. Doing a gig here at the Purple Onion, which is named after Charles Bukowski's dick. It's like, <laughs> it's class, man. Culture. Word of the life will give it to you. A chance to give a break to the, anybody. That's it. Well. When did you want to start the interview? Well, we're rolling right now. We are? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're not even letting you. We just talked. <laughs> I thought we were just talking. No, we're rolling.